Today I'm going to show you a first grade lesson. It's the second day of our lesson. Today we're going to be making the owls to place onto our branch and it will look like this when we're done. So my first step for my students was they chose a color that they would like to make their owl. They also got themselves a pencil and then I'm going to be coming around and bringing them an owl tracer. With the owl tracer, they'll put it in the middle of their paper and very carefully with their pencil, trace around the tracer, remove it, and then they can walk to get scissors and make sure that when they walk with scissors, they're going to carry them scissor safety. And then they will carefully cut out around the outside of their owl. And on this side where the pencil lines are is a good, side to put my name. So I'm going to put my name right here. I'm actually just going to write example. And then this goes into the garbage and I'm going to flip that over so I'm ready to start doing the rest of the features on the owl. The next step is going to be for my students to make their owl eyes and to do that they're going to use their glue stick as their tracer. So they can just flip the glue stick upside down right on one of the yellow squares and they go all the way around the glue stick and then they can do that on the other one or what they can do is hold them right in the same hand and cut around and now they can use their glue stick to glue the eyes on to their owl. So I'm going to hide my pencil marks, put the glue on the pencil marks. And then again on this one, I'm going to put the glue where the pencil marks were and put those down so they are glued down to the owl right now. The next step for my students is to make the bird beak. So starting at one corner, they're going to like make a little mark right in the middle of the bottom. So my mark is kind of right there if you can see it. And I'm going to draw from one corner to that line to make a diagonal line. And then from the other corner to that line making a diagonal line. And that made me a triangle. So now I'm going to take that triangle and cut those lines. And then I'm going to see if it fits. Looks pretty good. Or if I wanted it to be a smaller beak, I could cut it a little bit smaller. It's totally up to the artist. And then again, if I have any pencil lines showing, I'm going to make sure that I cover those pencil lines up. And any scraps that I have, since it's construction paper, they need to go in the garbage. So I'm going to glue my beak on. And then I will be ready for the next step. So my students will be done with their glue sticks, so they'll be twisting them down, making sure the cover gets put on, and putting those away. The next thing they'll be picking up is a Sharpie, and they can use that to do things like details in the eyes to make the pupils. And they can leave it like that, or they can make the lines inside of the eyes. I like to go all four directions, and then I go in between them. And then in my beak, I like to put two little lines so that the bird can breathe through that beak. And then we're going to work on the feathers. And for the feathers, we're going to do a W, 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 or a bumpy line all the way across to give it texture. Then I would go down and I would do it again. W, 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 or bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump. Another thing that my students can do is that sometimes owls have these like unibrow things in the middle of their foreheads and they can go ahead and give their owl a unibrow as well. That is totally up to them. So they're now going to use their Sharpie marker to add details. The next thing we're going to do to our owls is add a little bit of color. I've got these special crayons in here called construction paper crayons. They have a black wrapper. 
and they are specifically made, special made, just to go on construction paper. So you can choose a couple of construction paper crayons, and this one needs to be peeled just a little bit back, so I'm going to peel that away, throwing the wrapper in the garbage. And then I'm going to do a, a pattern with my feathers. So I'm going to color this one pink, and then this one green, pink, and green, and I can keep, I'm just going to skip over here because I know that pink's going to go in between. And then I can go down and I can choose another pattern, like I really like this kind of purplish blue. And that one would go here if I'm doing a feather pattern. And maybe I'm going to do white, blue white, blue white, blue white. Okay, so you can use your construction paper crayons to also, you know, add the feathers. They can color a little bit up in the head of the owl. Um, just adding a little bit of color. So maybe down here now I want to do the pink green, pink green pattern again. So I'm filling those in. And now my owl would be colored and ready to be done if I want it to. Or I could add up here, or I could color inside of their ears if I want to. The next thing my students are going to do is decorate their background. So they might take some of these construction paper crayons and go ahead and add some leaves onto their branches that their owl might sit on. There's a couple different color greens, I think a darker one and a lighter one, so they could do maybe two different colored leaves if they wanted to. They could do it so it's like a fall leaf with different colors. It's totally up to them. Then also what they're going to do is, in the background, they can make stars if it's nighttime or clouds if it's daytime. I'm just going around and making little stars here. And they could make a sun or a moon or whatever they'd like. I think I'm going to do like a purple moon right here. And I'm going to color that in. Now, once I'm done adding details onto the background, people couldn't really see my stars, but they were all around here with that yellow crayon. Um, what I'm going to do now that I'm done with my background adding leaves and stars is it's time to add the owl and the owl is going to go right on the branch. So I take the glue stick and I glue my owl right down to my branch and then the very last thing I do is with my Sharpie marker on the branch, I write my name very, very neatly and the year, which is 2017. So on the branch, I wrote my name and a 2017 for the year. This is a first grade lesson, our second day on making owls on branches.